pride. We just have to keep fighting. My oasis in a desert or a in spite of the significant progress brought about by the civil rights era and subsequent federal and state legislation, discrimination and the injustices of discrimination are far from history. Where I Today, more than four decades since the passage of the state of California's Rumford Act of 1963, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, and the Watts Riot of 1965, many community members like Charles and Myrtle Smith reflect on the importance of having the right to choose a place to call home. After 52 years of marriage, his story and her story has become their story. The reason why we moved from there, from, from out of Los Angeles, is because that was when the first watch ride. We were sitting on the porch and at the front one night as it was hot and we, a bullet came by, you know, and almost hit us. We had been in L.A. You know, all my family, all of his family. But um, he says, I don't want to raise my kids, my children, you know, in this area. So when we moved to Pomona, we was the first colored family on that street. It was then that Myrtle Smith recalls experiencing discrimination. I had one family to move when we moved in that neighborhood. And um, I found out later that they moved because we was black. You know, we're always afraid of people who aren't like us. We're anything that's not like us, we are a little afraid of it. And we don't have to be. Discrimination is something that should be frowned on. Unfortunately, acts of discrimination become the stories behind many different faces. But I see a lot of discrimination there too. Yeah, especially with the Hispanics, yeah. That's not right. God, he made everybody. God, he loved everybody. And that's why I'm not believing in the race, color, or nationality. Uh, that's not acceptable. It's unacceptable. Discrimination can be color, education, how your status of education, even your status of dressing. Actually, discrimination, I think, we was just talking about that this morning, is prejudging. Discrimination to me means unfair, um, unequal. Housing discrimination is blocking someone's access to housing even though they can afford the property. Treating a renter or buyer differently or denying someone the right to buy or rent a home on the basis of their race, color, national origin, religion, gender, disability, familial status, ancestry, source of income, sexual orientation, age, or any arbitrary reason. Discrimination appears in many forms. That may include lying about availability, setting different rental terms for different people, failing to respond to inquiries or provide a rental application, steering buyers to certain neighborhoods, refusing to negotiate with prospective buyers, creating or enforcing zoning laws that have a discriminatory effect, scrutinizing one applicant more closely than another, giving an unreasonably low appraisal, imposing different terms or conditions, or denying loans in certain areas, which is known as redlining. Knowing the laws that prohibit housing discrimination is important so that you can, one, recognize when a person is breaking the law, know when and how you should file a complaint, obtain the housing that you need or desire, and finally, help put a stop to unfair housing practices, including unfair or predatory lending. 
Housing discrimination affects every individual in the United States. Realtors, brokers, real estate buyers and sellers, landlords and tenants are all affected by the fair housing laws and need to know their respective rights and responsibilities under the law. Everyone needs to know the law. I had went to the leasing office and inside there was a Hispanic family and I waited for them to come out and I greeted them and I had walked into the office and I had, you know, told the manager, I said, is that the new family that's going to be moving up to the front unit? And he said, no. He says, I would never rent to a Mexican family. Well, I think um, as a person of color, as a person of, who is a minority, I think that we are more aware of discrimination than persons who are not minorities. Persons who are not minorities cannot relate to it. They, when we talk about it, they, they look at me and say, well, is that still going on? I thought all that was over with. That racism is still here, it still exists, and, uh, it, but instead of doing it openly, it's done on the cover. It's, it's, it's done in a way where if you're not really paying attention, it'll go over your head. Race is a group of people united or classified together on the basis of common history, nationality, or geographic distribution. The Department of Housing and Urban Development recognizes five races, white, African American, Asian, Pacific Islander, and American Indian or Alaskan Native. Color is the natural appearance of a person's skin, such as variations in complexion or pigmentation. Sometimes color discrimination occurs between persons of the same race or ethnicity. I had a friend who uh, wanted me to uh, be partners with him and buy a vacation home. And it was out in the desert, and we went to see it. They were just beginning to build. And when we got there, uh, there was very little being done. They were just breaking ground. But there was a real estate office there, and they had elevations, and they had, um, they showed you what it was going to look like. But they had no brochures yet because they were just getting started. So when we um, signed up, uh, they said, we don't have any brochures for you now, but we will send you some as soon as we get them. In another week or so, we should have them. We'll send them to you. So my partner and I, we went ahead and signed our names and gave our addresses. And within two weeks, he called me and he said, Jess, have you seen this uh, brochure? It's really fantastic. And I got all excited about it, and I went to my mailbox. I, I didn't get it. And after about a week, I still didn't receive it. So I called the real estate agent, and he apologized. He said, I don't know what happened. He, I gave him my name and address again, and he said he would send it right away. And to this day, I've never received that uh, particular brochure. But I got the message pretty clear that they really did not want me to be applying there. But my friend, uh, who is blonde and blue-eyed, was more than welcome there. He got his brochure right away. National origin broadly refers to the country where a person was born or from where his or her ancestry originates. National origin includes any display of physical and cultural traits of a particular national group. Discrimination on the basis of race, color, or national origin may include offensive language, such as ethnic slurs. The manager asked, I thought he was just making conversation, but the way he discriminated against me was so nonchalantly at first because he asked me questions that he just included in general conversation, whether I had been married, what religion I was, and if I attended church, and if I was willing to attend a Bible study if I moved there. 
Religion is a group of people adhering to a particular set of beliefs and practices. Discrimination on the basis of religion may include limiting a potential resident from renting due to a different religious background or advertising things such as close to synagogues and good Christian community as this may discourage people of different religions from renting or purchasing. Discrimination on the basis of sex is having a different preference to rent, lease, or sell to only males or females. This type of discrimination includes suggestive and offensive behavior or language that may lead to sexual harassment complaints. I noticed that something was wrong with the manager, you know, because he started ignoring. There were certain things that he was supposed to do in the apartment that he did not do, and he would avoid me. And then one day I was walking, I told my nephew, I'll walk you out. And where I lived, there was a patio area and there was two steps, but there was an incline. And I told my nephew, I said, let me, let me have your arm because I was afraid. I didn't want to fall because I knew that I was already expecting a procedure and I didn't want to worsen or delay the procedure um, by falling. So I took his hand, like arm in arm, and we basically walked out. I gave him a hug and a kiss goodbye on the cheek. and. You know, he was having some family dynamics with his family and, you know, I just kind of embraced him and I told him that it was going to be okay. And I turned around and, you know, I had saw that the manager had walked out and looked at us and shook his head and went back in his office. By the time I got down back to the corner of my, my the common walkway area right before I ran into the manager and I had told him. I said so and so. I said, uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't talked to you. You haven't returned my calls in a week. He told me, he says, I've been off, and he goes, I really don't want to talk to you. He goes, but what I will tell you is that this is a family-oriented environment. And I know what he meant. And I asked him, I said, well, what do you mean by that? And he looked at me. He goes, you know what I'm talking about, and turned around and walked away. My big uh, surprise. Uh, when I buy my mobile home and I went to uh, this place to rent in uh, spaces for the mobile homes, uh, I went to this place when uh, the office was closed. Uh, but somebody's coming out, open the door, and, and she asked me, Yes, sir, my And uh, I told her, Hey, I'm looking for a parking space uh, for my, I have a mobile home. Okay, uh, she opened the door and she said, oh, okay, come in to the office over there. And she asked me, uh, okay, uh, how many people? I say four. Uh, four, okay. Uh, to my wife and me and my two kids. When I say my two kids, oh, kids. Oh, no, no, no. She take back the application. I like to change a lot, a lot. This is a big impact to me. They say, oh no, everything has gone down. Families with children refers to one or more individuals under the age of 18, living with a parent or other person having custody. This includes adoptive parents as well as pregnant women. No one may deny housing, limit access to housing, discourage home seekers, or create different rules, fees, or standards because children are present. Disability refers to a person who has a physical or mental impairment that substantially limits one or more major life activities. These activities may include seeing, hearing, speaking, breathing, caring for oneself, and learning. In addition to prohibiting discrimination, the law includes provisions for persons living with disabilities to allow them the full use and enjoyment of a property, which will be discussed in Chapter 3 of this informative video. 
Under California law, there are six additional protected categories. Ancestry is defined as a person's self-identification of heritage, ethnic origin, descent, or one who closely identifies with a specific ethnic group. Marital status refers to the condition of being married or unmarried. This may include giving preference to married couples when screening potential residents and denying housing to persons who are in agreement to live together but are not legally married. Sexual orientation refers to persons whose sexual preference is for people of the same sex, opposite sex, or both sexes. Source of income is any income that can be verified. This category prohibits discriminating against a person because of the source of their income. Verifiable income includes unemployment, social security, and disability. Housing vouchers and other forms of government assistance paid directly to the housing provider are not considered a source of income. Age is the length of time that a person has lived. Students who are in the process of renting and senior citizens are usually targeted under this category. Arbitrary is a broad category that refers to denying a person housing based on a physical characteristic. Examples of physical characteristics are tattoos, piercings, or a shaved head. One of the hardest things to do is to change people's attitudes. And that's a long-term thing. You can't, some people, uh, you're not going to change their attitudes no matter what. But I think that if you continue to bring this message forward and continue to make sure that everyone knows that, that we all deserve the same chance at getting housing and jobs, schools, um, then attitudes will begin to change.